Welcome back YouTube, I'm Ahmed again from in-depth tech reviews and here is Google Apps Updates Roundup number 22 and in this video I'm going to show you all the new changes that took place in the last week of April. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with Google Messages. A few days ago Google released a new version for Samsung users that matches the same design language of One UI. So here I have it side by side with the normal version on my Pixel 5 and the first change is everything is pushed down to be more reachable and this is something we got used to with One UI. The huge white space at the top is filled with the word messages and underneath it you will see a new messages counter that will tell you how many unread messages you have and this is something missing from the normal version. The third difference between the two is in the accent color. As you see here in Samsung's version, it's using a turquoise color versus a blue color in the normal version. And when you go inside the conversations, you will see the same difference as well and also under settings. Next, the start chat button in the normal version will first show you a bell-shaped design. And once you start scrolling, it will turn into a circle. While here in Samsung's version, it's always circular and Google dropped the word start chat. Another small addition here, when you start scrolling, you will see this small floating arrow. Once you tap on it, it will take you back to the top of the list. So let me show you this again. And this is something also missing from the normal version. But I found only one feature to be missing from Samsung's version. When I tap and hold on any conversation in the normal version, I have an extra button that will allow me to set reminders. And once I choose the date and time, I will get a reminder in my notifications shade, reminding me to reply back to this conversation, which is something I couldn't do in Samsung's version. And here's how the reminder looks like in the notifications shade. It will give you three options, either done, view or set another reminder after one hour. And finally, there is a new toggle under settings that you will only find in Samsung's version. When you go to settings and then advanced, you will see here a new toggle called text on Galaxy devices. Turning on the switch will give access to Bixby to control your Google Messages app. And as per the description, it says Samsung requires the ability to control this messages app to send, receive and manage your messages and media through this app from Pixby and other Galaxy devices associated with your Samsung account. I don't have other Galaxy devices at the moment to see how we can control Google messages from other devices as well, but I confirmed that Pixby can now send messages using Google apps. So let me show you this. Send a message to my other number. So now Bixby sent the message and when I open Google Messages, I see it here in the list, which means it's using Google Messages instead of Samsung Messages in this scenario. To download this version of Google Messages on your phone, first you need to download an app called the Split APKs and then go ahead and click on the link in the description below. It will take you to the APK Mirror website tap on the download APK bundle. After downloading the bundle, wait for a few seconds and then open the Split APKs app. And then tap on Install APKs and choose Internal File Picker. Allow. Go to your Downloads folder and choose the APK M file. Then tap on Select Install. It will ask you for permission to uninstall apps. Then tap on open and you will see the new version. In some cases, you might see the old version after installing the new APK. In this case, just force quit the app and open it again and you are good to go. Before jumping to the next category, let's give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, cdkoffers.com. From CDK Offers, you can purchase original Microsoft Windows 10 and Office keys in a very discounted price. Not only this, but you can also use my special promo code ID20 to get extra 20% discount. As you see, you can get yourself a Windows 10 OEM key for $16.18, which is insanely cheap. Please check the links in the description below. Now let's get back to the review. Next. Google app. And if you are running Android 12 Developer Preview 3 on your device, you will see a redesigned Discover feed. Here on the left, I have my Pixel 4a on Android 12, and on the right, I have the Pixel 5 on Android 11. First, the logo is shifted towards the left, and it's no longer using Google's colors, and it's written in a bigger font. The snapshot button dropped the label, and it's now next to the profile picture, 
with a circle around it. In the current design, the cards are elevated on top of a translucent background and the cards are separated with white spaces between them. While in the new design, the cards are flat and they are separated with a very thin horizontal line and you will no longer see a translucent background and instead it will show you a solid white color. In the new design, each card will show you three buttons instead of two. The first one is exactly the same, but you will get quick access to the share button instead of having it under the more menu. Also the more button got a new icon here. It looks like a filter instead of using three vertical dots. Also the cards are more compact because they no longer show the first two lines of the article. You only get the headline. YouTube cards also got redesigned. First, the play button looks different. The channel name and the time elapsed are in two separate lines instead of being next to each other. And Google is also using less text here. And instead of saying one day ago, it says one D. Finally, the video duration is shifted towards the right to be next to the external button and instead of being on the opposite side. And when you scroll all the way down, you will see the more stories button looks different. It has a bell shaped design and it's centered. And here is how they look side by side in dark theme. Also, the weather information card is no longer showing in the new design. And when you go to the discover page in Google app, you will see some visual changes as well. First, the weather is no longer showing in a separate card and instead you will see it on the top left corner also that search bar has a flat design similar to what we have seen in cards uh, instead of being elevated like in the current version and i forgot to mention to get this new design on android 12 developer preview 3 you should be registered for the beta program of google app from the play store and if you are using google app for ios you might see some of the new design changes i showed you in android 12 but keep in mind, these new changes will be pushed to your iPhone via server-side update. Here I have my iPhone XR running the same version of Google app and both look totally different. The first change you will see is in the weather. It looks exactly the same as Android 12. Also, the cards are flat instead of being elevated and the more button is using the same new icon instead of the three vertical dots. Other minor changes you will see is the new lens icon. The search bar is elevated instead of being flat. And when you tap on the more button, you will no longer see the name of the topic on top of the choices. Next, the recent page has been replaced with a new one called tabs, and both of them are totally different. The new tabs page looks exactly the same as Google Chrome, and it will show you the open tabs in a grid view, with a thumbnail for each web page instead of using these floating cards with the initials on top of them. Both do pretty much the same thing, but the buttons are different. For example, when you tap on a new search here, it will do exactly the same thing as new tap, no difference. And here you have a button called clear all, while here you have an icon that will also clear all the pages, but you will get a confirmation here in the new design. And finally, you have uh, the more menu that will allow you to choose your tab settings here you can choose if you want to clear the tabs after a day a week a month or never next chromecast with google tv got april update and the update size is 166 megabytes the build number is showing now on the screen and most of the changes are under the display and sound menu from here you can turn the hdmi ece feature on or off which is something new on the resolution you get plenty of options with different resolutions and refresh rates to choose from under dynamic range and the color format then dynamic range format preference you can choose between hdr or sdr and adjust Dolby Atmos settings. Under match content dynamic range, you can choose to always play content in HDR or match content. And finally, you will be able to adjust the color format with three different options, ranging from 10 bit up to 12. In addition to the new features, there are some bug fixes and improvements. First, HDMI hot plug improvements, helping your Chromecast detect the best TV settings available. Wi-Fi improvements for five gigahertz and mesh networks. Bluetooth audio shuttering improvements in some apps. Beside the update, Chromecast with Google TV got HDR10 Plus certification, which means you will be able to play HDR10 Plus content from some apps like Paramount Plus, Amazon Prime Videos, with more to come in the future. Next, Google Podcasts for iOS got a redesigned now playing screen to match the Android version. We first saw this new design on Android at the beginning of 2021, but it's now available on iOS as well. From here, you can also 
block show from recommendations, show fewer like this or show more like this and more. You can also block some recommendations from your explore tab by using the three dots next to each show and choose the option which is called block show from recommendations. Next, Gmail for the web will now show you an external badge next to the subject line of any email message in case it includes recipients from outside your organization and when you hover your mouse over the word external you will get more details and this feature will help you avoid leaking any internal information. The feature will also roll out to Android and the iOS users later and it's currently available for Google Workspace, G Suite Basic and business customers. Next, Google Pay. And now when you try to make a payment on the web or in any app, you will see the last four digits of your credit card number. And for Pixel users, Google added three new wallpapers under the curated culture category and they are for the Asian, American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes I spotted in Google Apps in the fourth week of April. So I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.